for the melee units. Uh, Horror was able to snipe this bottom, exp bot this bolt, this bottom expansion right there. Perhaps he's going to go for the uh, bottom right as well. Yeah, yeah. And right now, this marine is trying to run away from these ultras, but there is no place to run away. There's a lot <laughs> of medics, but wow, he's making wall of medics right now. This is great. This is great. The Ultras cannot uh, defeat uh, the um, medic wall, if you can say, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, perhaps a couple <laughs> of war workers right there can uh, pretty much devastate the entire wall. Uh, this is great play by Horror. He does really understand the mechanics of this map and he's uh, abusing the this little choke right there. Look how many Ultras cannot do anything against the <laughs> little wall of medics. And, uh, <laughs> yes, but Zerg is just sending units from other side, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> he decides to sandwich in the the little four marine force and like ten medics right there. Single ultra is going perhaps to kill everything right there. Yes. So. And yeah, so these medics are probably a bit afraid, <laughs> surrounded <laughs> by <laughs> ultra list right now. Yeah, yeah, he's very abusive right now of the uh, poor uh, medics. And uh, we see or horror pushing, uh, and perhaps there's going to be a watch engagement in the middle of the map. Uh, actually, very nice uh, positioning by the Zerg player. You can walk on the mini map. He's uh, relocating his units. Uh, he's planning a little surround. This is very good against a uh, very strong uh, tank force. But uh, actually, horror does not have any upgrades from the tanks. So this is very unwise, I think, in the late game against so many others. And there are so many ultras right now that I don't think that Tron can do anything about it. Oh, perfect surround. Yes, perfect. This oh. is a sandwich, a Terran sandwich uh, with ultras on one side and uh, some butter and zerglings on the other side. Uh, yeah, this is uh, devastating. Uh, right now, Horror was, was uh, oh, the entire his entire army. He has uh, a couple of basic uh, bases, uh, but uh, he's not uh, well defended right there. And uh, we see a single ultra, a couple of zerglings perhaps can do some damage. And yeah, he has some uh, bio right there, but not enough defense uh, by horror. Yes, and well, there are some mines. These mines, if there would be in a different position, would be well, very effective right now. And he was able to hold it. No, there are servings in mineral light, never mind. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well, Terran is des desperately trying to defend himself, he's trying to stay in the game. Um, somehow oh. he, he's still alive, I'm very surprised. Uh, th that's uh, the importance of the bunker uh, I, t I talked about li a little bit before about this. Uh, a single b bunker can snipe, uh, let's, uh, let's say, uh, four or five uh, cracklings right there, with, uh, if the marines have some upgrades. But if you see, if uh, there are no defenses right there, a single crackling and an ultra can destroy the entire base, uh, because it's so far from the production facilities of the Terran. Mm, yes, and Zerg is getting another expansion. So, yeah, of course he's not, you know, um, mining from effectively from all of his expansions right now, but he's probably just trying to you know get much more, as much as much macro as he can right now. And I'm actually I'm actually surprised that uh, the supplies right now are very even. Uh, there are 105 for the Zerg and 115 for the Terran player, 117. We see another little drop for with eight cracklings in the main base of the Terran. Uh, these drops won't be doing much against a voucher and uh, constantly, uh, constantly, pro uh, constant production from the term. But uh, yeah, you, once again we see the, the pesky ultra in the bottom right uh, term base uh, completely uh, delaying the mining right there. Yes, but Zerg was somehow able to starve Terran right now because Terran have no um, mining um, base right now. He's trying to get this. Um, Five o'clock, four o'clock expansion right now. Sent so many CVs there. But yeah, there is still no army protecting it. So a few crackings you will be able to easily deal with it. And Terran is attacking right now again. <laughs> he has so many units, yeah, and the bio upgrades are great uh, for his marines. And actually, I don't see so many units from the Zerg player. He his macro is really slipping at this point. 
uh, so many tanks and marines uh, the Terran player is constantly production, uh, producing units uh, he's basically on the edge of his uh, uh, credit uh, if you may say uh, but the Zerg is not uh, spending his uni uh, his uh, minerals very well he may have so many cracklings and uh, defend uh, this much better oh, that's right he probably will be able to deal with this uh, 12 o'clock expansion of Zerg but at the same time Terran ha have no cash I'm afraid so he have to really do something right now I'm yeah I don't think that this push will be able to kill Zerg on site, so... It's uh, very even at this point. The Terran is still a bit ahead in supply, but uh, he does not have uh, many options at this point. He does not have expansion, and, and in the long run he's going to be defeated, essentially, I think. But uh, we see a dark swarm and uh, some Ultras right there uh, going to cause a lot of damage. Actually, irradiated Ultras cause so, so much damage to Marines as well. Yes, and... Well, Turn is still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time I can see these masses of Zerglings and Ultras, I think that Turn is going dead. But somehow, somehow, I have no idea how he's able to still alive. I really Whoa. have no idea. Oh, terrible play right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty much everything the Terran has. Uh, I think this uh, he's basically uh, right now uh, trying to do some more harassment, uh, perhaps practice a little bit of micro right there. But he does not have many units, and uh, the Zerg right now is uh, on four mining bases against uh, a zero mining bases for the Terran player. Uh, basically, some cr uh, a, a swarm of cracklings. Uh, from a hero right now, which uh, who has uh, 2,000 minerals, uh, he can basically cause a lot of damage with the constant push with uh, uh, just cracklings. Oh yeah, and Terran is still not leaving. He decided that he will fight until the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no no chance that Terran will get any kind of mining right now, but Terran is still fighting. Never, never surrender. <laughs> never surrender. Yes, <laughs> well, that's very going to be very difficult. Uh, the uh, Zerg upgrades uh, are very good. Uh, I think uh, the the tank upgrades were were a bit lacking uh, during the game, uh, but uh, yeah, he, he basically uh, the Zerg player out macroed him and uh, uh, ah, actually there are four uh, vultures uh, continuing the harassment, but uh, they are facing uh, four sunken quarries in the bottom. Yeah, I don't see him do, him doing a lot at this point. Oh, yeah, but he will try. <laughs> he he will try very hard, but uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty much over for the horror. Uh, per perhaps uh, he he might uh, try to do some uh, micro, like I mentioned. Uh, uh, a lot of players have uh, seen uh, in the broad world scene uh, like to when they when they are losing against a very good player it's a nice idea to practice your micro at least uh, and to go go out with some honor <laughs> oh, yes well it's surprised because um here get some drones so it's a bit i don't know maybe playing with Terran right now or yeah and yeah he's trying to clean up this this but i have to say that well, that our German uh, friend was very effective against Korean, so he's very oh. good foreign for for foreigner. Absolutely uh, brilliant match. I think uh, horror did very well with uh, very exemplary early harassment with uh, both raids and drops in the same time. But uh, hero was actually perhaps very used to this uh, style with uh, two prone attacks and uh, proxy factories, and he was able to defend very well. Uh, and and uh, like we mentioned in the early game, uh, w once he stabilized it, uh, he went uh, very macro heavy and uh, uh, pr pretty much horror was unable to, uh, let's say, counter all that. My god, he's still defending. He's like <laughs> this, you know, he's like, he's like these marines believe there will be some kind of dropship that they will take away the, from them. The, the battle yeah. cruiser. The battle cruiser yes, was going to say. They're save waiting me. for reinforcements, battle cruisers, or whatever, and she left. And uh, Black Toys, aka Horror, leaves the game without a GG. Uh, this is not a big deal, living without a, without a GG. Of course, uh, they are probably friends and uh, have played uh, before.
Yes, maybe he was just so tired that he just, you know, fell because it was a very uh, long and very intensive game. But, yeah, it was a great game and I think that, I hope that both, both of these players are enjoy it. it. Yeah, very nice game. Uh, and I uh, also think that uh, our, play uh, our viewers are going to enjoy this game uh, and uh, that's all for now. Okay, so my name is Sebastian. I was casting with Dosbox and for you, thank you for watching.